there's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. Hey guys, welcome back to Kalal Soups 808. So a bit of a treat for you today. Um, we have got a review of the one-third scale Jungle Hunter Predator from Prime One Studios. Spoiler alert, this thing is just the perfect Predator statue. It's incredible. Guys, if you like content like this, uh, do the usual like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, let's get into it. But first, a very quick but important message for Canadians. So I'm a proud Canadian and I love our country, but I'm also a collector and as a collector, we get bone on shipping, taxes, wait times, etc. What's the solution? Well, thank you for asking, mon frere. Starbase Collectibles is that solution. Founded in 2013, this Alberta business is your source for Hot Toys, Sideshow, Prime One, PCS, and other high-end collectibles. Starbase Collectibles was created with the sole intention of giving us Canadians a bit of a break. So guys, join the thousands of collectors, myself included, who have benefited from lower prices on collectibles, all thanks to Starbase. So guys, if you're in Alberta, or if you're in Canada in general, check out Starbase Collectibles. They are an awesome company, and you are very, very likely to save some money. And who doesn't like to save money? So follow Starbase Collectibles on Facebook, and feel free to contact via email at starbasecollectibles at yahoo.ca. And with that said, let's get back into the video. Okay, so when you get this thing, it comes in three gigantic boxes. I alluded to this on a previous video. Uh, one, two, three. Holy crap. <laughs> Amazing. So this is the guy. So this is one third scale. A lot of people think it's like half scale, but I, I disagree. It's uh, the predator, the actual uh, monster himself. Uh, the alien is uh, freaking gigantic, he's way bigger than Arnold and Arnold 6'2". So this is about a true uh, third scale. Uh, but he comes with a, d a couple of different heads. I'll, uh, I'll show you that later and a bunch of different switch outs. He's got some like switch out hands and blades here. Um, some other stuff. So we'll go into all that stuff. So this is the guy. But what we'll do is we will go into the base first. Now the base is the bit that really stood out to me. Um, well, all of it stands out to me because this thing is freaking amazing. But like, so it comes with this awesome uh, metallic plaque here. Uh, so you can tell Jungle Hunter, this is from the original Predator movie, the, the one we all know and love with Arnold. Um, and you'll notice right away little things about it, like the scorpion. And that thing just sits on there. Uh, I think it's on with a peg. Um, just beautiful. It would even like the paint just in the tiny little scorpion. And this is a completely unnecessary detail. Uh, they didn't need to put that in there, but it's just beautiful. Like gorgeous paintwork on the scorpion alone. You've got all the shrubbery, the rockery, but then check this out. Look at that. Let's. It's got like a clear resin, like an epoxy resin with these fish and pebbles down below, like in a stream. Again, completely unnecessary, but just absolutely unbelievable detail. And then all the different colored rocks and pebbles. You've got some nice wet uh, glistening shine effects here on the roots of this tree. And then the greenery on the tree, this all like fits in with pegs. This all comes separate, like these little, little things here, all come separate and you just put them in. But man, crazy. Like up here, away from the water, it's dry. So it has a completely different texture to down here. You can see the shine. Just unbelievable, unbelievable. And then as we go around, we have like this, tr uh, on the back of the tree, we have this snake again, unnecessary, they didn't need to put that in there. 
but the snake looks real. I mean, that could be that could be someone's pet snake, and you know, it looks so real when you when you're actually here looking at it. Some nice shine and paint on the scales, just just unbelievable. This thing. Like, I've seen a lot of statues. I mean, I've been a collector for multiple decades now, and I've seen lots of Predator statues. This, to me, is the definitive Predator statue. There's just so much going on with it. It's, it's kind of overwhelming, and every time I look at it, I see something new. So as we go back down to the base, um, he's got these uh, grooves around his feet. Um, with the kind of like mud puddles inside and that tells a story uh, you know he's he's big he's heavy he's landed from the trees he's like sunken into the mud and then he's sprayed this water up messing up the environment around here and then it's dry a bit higher up right but he's kind of like splashed this water all over these roots of this tree uh, just freaking incredible, like, this is what I love about pieces like this, you're not just getting, like, a figure or a doll or some like to say, like, this is, this is premium. Like, just, I, I love the story that these things tell. The armor, uh, the armor looks kind of alien and, as it is, right, and it's all kind of scratched up, it's like battle-worn. This is mixed media, so he's got like his uh, kind of pleather pouch here. And then this is mixed media with the pleather. So this belt here um, was pretty tight to put on. And this is magnetized. This comes in two parts and it's magnetized and it comes around like this. Um, when this was being put on, it felt like, you know, the glue might break a little bit. So it was quite tight to put on but luckily it didn't break. Um, but yeah, tons of mixed media around this thing. So like these, uh, this harness here is uh, the same kind of material. This necklace here, as you can see with all the little different animal skulls on it. Like, I mean, the detail on all of these little skulls is just <laughs> incredible. I mean, yeah, you're gonna pay $2,000 for this thing, but like, it's worth it because the amount of detail that goes into all this stuff. Like, look at this, look at this foot thing here on his necklace. Um, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. So this shoulder cannon as well comes off. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want this shoulder cannon on, but if uh, you want something else on, it comes with this uh, like shoulder piece that just kind of like sits onto his shoulder. Uh, but to me, that's not movie accurate. So you want it to be movie accurate. There's been multiple uh, Predator statues over the years. And one of the uh, the most famous ones is the Cinema Cat uh, Predator, which is a really nice piece. A good buddy of mine owns it, Marco. But uh, to me, this is better because I think uh, the Cinema Cat Predator is um, like more comic book. And I think this is uh, this is like really, really movie accurate. This is like incredibly accurate to the to the Predator movie, which is what we all know and love. Like most of us don't know about the Predator comics. Some do, uh, but the reason I know about Predator is because of the the '80s classic Arnold movie, right? So that's what I love. I love that this is so movie accurate. So then these blades, uh, there's different blades. These are the long ones and they're just kind of like, they fit in just pressure connected. So you just like squeeze them in. So they're not magnetized or anything. But those are the long ones. And then you, there's some, uh, some shorter ones here. And as you can hear, they're actually metallic. They're actually real metal. And then there's some shorter blades here. Uh, just phenomenal. Then it comes with the shoulder piece there. And then it comes with some spare like little quills. Uh, these things like on his chest here, these are kind of like vinyl, but he comes with some extra ones on his shoulder here. So they got some movement. And uh, also 
uh, these are kind of like like a vinyl as well so which is great you can they've got some pliability to them so you know they don't break in shipping and stuff which I think is important so this is truly mixed media if we look at his hands he's got the I mean these are sculpted these little gloves uh, but then he has like metallic studs on his knuckles here which uh, I mean you don't want to be punched by that the fact that Dutch can withstand a punch from this guy with that, with this power, freaking incredible. Bad idea. And this guy comes with like a huge um, instructions list. Obviously there's a hell of a lot going on with this guy. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of pieces here like the belt, the switch out heads, uh, the shoulder cannon, the blades, the hands, the shrubbery, all the base, um, you know, with the tree and like the necklaces, like there's a whole idiot's guide here uh, <laughs> to let you know how to put it together properly. So even, even a dummy like me could do it. Uh, but yeah, there's a hell of a lot going on with this thing. So uh, as you can see, it's kind of overwhelming actually. Um, but really, ultimately, uh, you know, you spend a bit of time and care with this thing, you're going to have it looking just right. Um, his, his feet go in a certain way, the bottom half of his body clicks in, then the rest of his body clicks in, the hands click on, all that's pretty obvious, so you shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, but yeah, like, <sighs> I don't even know what else to say. This guy is absolutely crazy. Um, there's so much going on. Look at this spinal cord on the necklace here, like the individual vertebrae. Uh, just the time and care that goes into these things. Um, like, well done, Prime One. For me, this is the definitive Predator piece, and it's, to me, almost a definitive Prime One piece. Um, yeah, I'm gushing over this thing. I'm sorry, guys, I just sound like a complete fanboy right now, but this is just, like, my, my mind is blown right now. I mean, look at the scale of this. This is on a pretty thick pedestal and it like extends even beyond the back of the base here. Like it like juts out here with that tree and there's all this shrubbery. And there was even more shrubbery actually that came with it, but, and you could overwhelm the thing with the shrubbery, but like, this is enough. Um, yeah, just like the moss on the tree and everything. And then there's like the tight little uh, netting around the around the legs and the torso. Uh, yeah, how they do this is like freaking unbelievable. Okay, guys. So just to give you a size comparison, this is my head directly next to his. As you can see, is like his head's half the size of mine. Like I'm not a super small guy. I'm like five ten. Uh, but he. This is what I'm saying. Like. A lot of people are saying he might be half scale. No, he's third scale because the Predator is gigantic, right? But just to give you a an idea of the size, like, yeah, man, that's crazy. He's so big. He even has some, if the camera gets to hear, some kind of greenish uh, tinges here, some like uh, kind of mossy kind of looking element to his armor. Gives it that kind of like alien feel so it's not all like a flat gray. Um, and it really pops with the uh, with the shrubbery here, with it being green. Um, yeah, like his his bone necklace here with the little feet and like I don't know, I'm just blown away. And I haven't even got to the switch out head yet, guys. But look at look at the uh, the blast marks on his helmet here. Uh, the shading. This is what a premium collectible should look like. Pay attention, Sideshow, and actually any other company. Prime One, um, I love you. Um, you knock this out of the park. And then I obviously talked about the switch out hands. 
He's got some like closed fists here, which are just equally as impressive. Yeah, you do not want to get punched by that guy or grabbed by that guy. But these fit on with a magnet, I'll show you that now. And that fits in nice and snug. And then obviously that's the same with the other one. You can have that as a closed fist as well. Just stunning. And obviously this guy comes with a switch out head. I'm not gonna completely detach it, but like, so his mask comes off here. And I've got this attached with uh, the wires to his arm cannon now, so it just fits on with a really super strong magnet here and sits on really snug and it would have to be very strong because that's very heavy. And then um, this is the switch out head that you can put on. I've got this on like this um, bus that it comes with, this really nice display stand. So this is like its own predator piece and you can do the same, obviously put the mask on here uh, but look at this detail. Like, look at the eyes and the teeth. And the wet effect in the mouth. These look like they're kind of a clear resin. Oh, just, man, the depth in those eyes. That's been taken directly out of the movie. Like, they literally, I don't think, could have done a better job. Like to me, this is just perfection. This is, this is what we want as collectors. You're never gonna get this all the time. You're never gonna get perfection, but companies should strive for it. And uh, yeah, these guys, <laughs> these guys nailed it, man. Like, I, I just don't know what else to say. This is, ah. Uh, the, uh, the 1980s fanboy is coming out in me big time today. Look at these little uh, spines. And these are all, again, pliable, like little vinyl spines, so they don't break off. Because I've got some uh, Predator, like, mini and micro busts, where, like, little things, little dreadlocks and little spines like that broke off in shipping because they were just resin. Um, but this, yeah, they've really thought about this. And uh, you pay a lot of money for it, but what you are getting is absolute frickin' perfection. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. So there you have it guys, what do you think? Um, I've said it numerous times on this video. Perfection is what I think. Uh, do you disagree? Am I, am I totally fanboying out? Am I not being rational here? Uh, I don't know, I just... Uh, I don't know what to say, I'm like, I'm just... So excited about this piece, this is incredible. This is exactly what we want as collectors, perfection. Anyway, sorry, I'm just all overcome with emotion right now, guys. Uh, what do you think? Uh, comment below, what do you think about this piece? I, do you have it? If so, congratulations. In my opinion, you own the best Predator piece there is out there. If you are on the fence, don't be on the fence. Trust me, this is the piece. If you are a Predator fan, if you're an 80s movie fan, this is the piece you need to have in your collection. This is just incredible. And guys, if as always, if you haven't uh, clicked the like button already, click it. If you like the content like this, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you don't miss out on any future content. There's lots more like this to come. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.